Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example, we're going to look to find the length of a segment. And we have the two given endpoints of the segment. And we have two ways. One way is to use Pythagorean theorem and do this triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and you can use Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to use the distance formula here. And you can double check by using the Pythagorean formula. The distance formula looks like this, d equal x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and the square root of all this uh, sum. So, here is nothing else than plug the values in. This is x1, this is y1, this is x2, and this is y2. So, let's see what we get here. We're going to have 4 minus negative 2 squared plus uh, y2, then negative 5 minus 1 squared. And we end up here with something very interesting. What? 6 squared, right? 4 minus 2 is 6. And you notice this is 6, and the other one also 6. And here we're going to end up with negative 6 squared, okay, which is the same thing as c squared. You will always get something like that. And 6 squared is 36. Negative 6 squared, the whole quantity is negative 6 squared, is also positive 36. So we end up with square root of 72, which can be simplified, right? 2 or 36 times 2. We can break the radical into, and we end up with a radical form, 6 square root of 2. And like I said, if you use Pythagorean theorem, you should get the same answer. This is the distance between points A and B. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.